John Cola with OKRaw.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and this one simply, How I Roll. So I just got out of the Los Angeles Produce Terminal a little bit earlier and spent a great weekend here in Southern California, stocked up on a lot of cool stuff I like a lot, including stuff to grow plants, plants, and a lot of fruits so that I could eat. And uh, what I want to do is mainly share with you guys actually how I travel, what I'm doing, what I got, how much I got it for, all this kind of cool stuff. So the first thing you want to get is something like this if you're traveling by car. It's called a thermoelectric cooler. This one's actually having a name by Coleman. And it looks like a standard cooler that you'd put in ice, but it's not. What it does is you actually, uh, you don't need to use ice. It's iceless. You just plug it into your cigarette lighter uh, with a little cord here. And then it actually uh, keeps your food cold for you. Now the benefit of this is if you stay at a hotel that doesn't have a fridge, uh, depending on where you bought, you could also get a converter that you plug into the wall that then you could also plug this into. So now you can have a little portable fridge in your room because most hotels or motels don't provide them and if some of them do, they charge you extra for them. So this way you could be more independent. Keep your food cold. This is very important, especially when transporting a lot of you know delicate vegetables like leafy greens and whatnot. So besides, uh, the cooler here, I'm going to share with you guys uh, what I'm driving back with today. We're going to open the trunk up first, and uh, here it is. Check it out, man. I got all the stuff to grow food, so I got a nice uh, Pro Mix soil mix. I got a lot of different um, mealworm castings, like 10 bags. That'll be on a GYG episode. I got some uh, potting soil, some regular earthworm castings in there. These bags are leaking a little bit on here, and they're all facing back so that it doesn't fall into my food that's going to be in the front. Next, we're gonna share with you guys actually the food I got at the Los Angeles Produce Terminal. Definitely recommend you guys shop there if you live anywhere in Los Angeles, even in Southern California. It's worth the trip maybe like once a month to stock up and load up with stuff there so that you could eat throughout the rest of the month. So next, let's go ahead and show you guys all the produce I got and share with you the prices and share with you guys how much money you could be saving. And actually, it's almost all organic too. All right, so you can see here behind me like we got lots of produce, cases and cases of produce. And uh, the reason why buying bulk is to save money. And if you're eating fruits and vegetables, you need to eat a lar larger quantity than processed foods. When you process foods, they take the water out, they increase the calories, lower the nutrition. When you're eating fruits and vegetables, you're increasing the water content, and we are 70 to 75% water. So most of this stuff is water, along with phytonutrients, phytochemicals, vitamins, and minerals, which are the best stuff on earth for us to eat. We wanna get away from processed foods, even processed raw foods, any fresh foods as I'm doing today. And at the LA Wholesale Produce Terminal, you could do that affordably. So check it out right here. We got some Concerto grape tomatoes. This is like 20 pounds of grape tomatoes in bulk. It's definitely better to buy them in bulk like this. And uh, these are basically gonna be dehydrated. 20 pounds was 12 bucks. So these are greenhouse grown. Winsect's a good company. They use what's called IPM, Integrative Pest Management. So that means they basically don't spray any pesticides or anything um, if they don't need to. So I like that a lot. Next, we got some raspberries, one of my favorite treats. Now, these ones won't necessarily store that long. The tomatoes, actually, even out of the fridge, will store pretty good a week or two out of the fridge. These berries aren't going to last like a couple days out of the fridge. Um, I've already eaten two of them for breakfast, and I'll probably eat a few more before I even get home. Oh, and these guys were uh, $14 for six 12-ounce. Uh, containers Next we got these white sapotes. These are not available at the uh, wholesale produce terminal These are actually from the farmers market. So I got a box of these guys. The box was like 20 bucks. It was like 16 18 pounds. So it was approximately a dollar 25 pound. I love my white sapotes. They're totally delicious Next we got these guys all my cactus fruits right here and we got all different kinds of varieties of cactus fruits, although some of them look like similar colors, they're totally different. These are like a green variety. And uh, if you look at them closely, they're totally like a different kind. And uh, when picking cactus fruit, you want to get them as ripe as possible. This one's like less ripe, and this one's more ripe. You want the ones with the vibrant colors that you really like to look at. And uh, here's some red ones, and then here's a new kind that I haven't seen before. These guys are kind of like oranges, and that's definitely really cool. Three of these guys were 14 a case. These cases are approximately 40 pounds, man. So that's less than 50 cents a pound. This guy over here, these guys are number twos because we got some rot on the end. So we're gonna uh, use those guys first. This case of 40 pounds was only eight bucks. And uh, these are not organic. I've never found these organic. And uh, I, I believe that these are 
rarely sprayed. I mean, no bugs really touch these out in nature. They just grow wild. In some places, you can actually wild harvest them. See, so besides the cactus roots, got some more cool stuff behind me. Next, we have this box, and this box is a box we were traveling with. So we got, we picked up some lemons at the farmer's market, uh, some Haas avocados, and these special avocados are called Teague's. It's like league, but Teague, T-E-A-G-U-E. -E. I haven't tried one yet. We've got a couple persimmons. Persimmon seeding season is starting. These ones are not quite ripe, and uh, I'm looking forward to a good persimmon season this year. In addition, we got some uh, kaffir limes. Nice and wrinkly, nice and ripe. These are tree drops, really cool. And then uh, we got these guys, man. These guys are uber cool. These are some guavas, and these have like the best smell in the world. Ooh, smell floral, and these are rare because I got these off a friend's tree when I did a video there and check it out. Gonna go ahead and open this up for you guys. Show you guys what it looks like. I mean, this is the kind of fruit you should aspire to eat. Look at that, man, look at inside. Nice, rich, and purple. <laughs> and man, this stuff, let me tell you, is delicious. Mmm, wow. Continuing on, we got some organic peppers here. These uh, organic peppers are 25 pounds. They're 16 bucks. That's definitely a good price. I mean, if you go buy organic peppers at Whole Foods or Whole Paycheck, man, they're like four bucks a pound, dude. Less than a dollar a pound organic peppers. Next, we got these guys, man. Organic strawberries. You guys might have seen these at the store, man, also. $5, a little, you know, bundle here. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 bucks if you bought them retail at the wholesale produce terminal. These are in pretty good shape. They'll probably last a week in the fridge. $6, man. Insane. So I got two of those. Over here we have some of my favorite cucumbers. These are hot house grown or greenhouse grown. These are the baby Persian cucumbers. These are don't have that bitter cucumber skin flavor. Great for cutting up and chopping up on salads or even like juicing. You don't even have to cut them to juice them. Check it out. These are from Baja Organics Persian cucumbers. This whole case is uh, 22 pounds. It was 26 bucks. A little bit over a dollar a pound. This is one of the most expensive things I got. But I definitely love my cucumbers, man. The taste is like no other on these cukes. Check them out. Next, we got a box of California fruit. The last of this season, some stone fruit. These are actually called the Joanna Plums, Joanna Red Plums. These are nice and ripe, a little bit soft, ready to eat. They're going to be really good. 28 pounds for 10 bucks. Man, if you guys always like wonder and complain, man, produce isn't that cheap where I live, maybe you should move to California and come to the Southern California Produce Terminal, man, to get good produce. I mean, you are what you eat, man. Next, we got some mangoes. So I don't know if you price mangoes at Whole Foods lately, man, but they're running like a couple bucks each, three bucks each, maybe. And uh, these are organic mangoes, keep mangoes. They are imported from Mexico. I wish they had the ones from California. They're significantly better. But five honking ass mangoes, super large. The price ranged uh, from $6.50 to $7, depending on where I bought them. So I got a couple at $6.50, a couple at seven bucks. Nonetheless, still a great deal for some organic mangoes. Next, we got one of my favorite avocados. We'll move this box in up for you guys so you guys can see them. These are actually called reed avocados. Most of you guys only may be familiar with like Haas avocados. And when you think avocado, you think Haas. Haas, in my opinion, are like one of the avocados that are the least good. There's so many other varieties of avocados that taste good. Like when I mean, we got the Teagues, that's a new variety that I've never tasted before. The Forte is a constant one that I really love even more than Haas. And another one is the Reeds. The Reeds, uh, these are organic Reed avocados. If you go into Whole Foods right now, many Whole Foods are selling the organic Reeds. They're like three bucks each. Uh, at the terminal, we got 20 pieces for 25 bucks. So that's about $1.25 each. And these are some honking avocados and they, the taste is phenomenal. Love them so much. Besides just the avocados, and I think everything to this point is organic except for the cactus fruit, we got something non-organic. That's because I really like them and I like to get a lot of variety in my diet and also these are on the clean 15 list. And they're super uber ripe, check it out. These guys are ripe papayas. They got a really nice color. They're a little bit soft to the touch. We're gonna have to eat these guys really fast. And uh, for a ripe papaya, you wanna smell it. It should just kind of smell florally and also it should be a nice deep color and be a little bit soft. Like a lot of times these are picked far too early and they never ripen up properly and they taste like crap. So you want to get them when they have a nice color, a little bit soft 
and it should be hopefully uniformly soft, like soft on this end, the butt end, and soft on the stem end. It's kind of hard to get them when they're soft on the stem end. This one's a little bit soft on the stem end. But I'm looking forward to make some nice uh, smoothies with these guys. And uh, these are the Mexican papayas, the Mardul papayas, or these large papayas, as far as I know, are not GMO. Papayas from Hawaii can be GMO, so you want to be aware of that. So I wouldn't be a raw fooder if I didn't buy bananas. Not Actually, I don't like particularly care for bananas, but I could not pass up these deals. Uh, over on this side, we got these guys. These are organic bananas, and it's actually called Joe Banana Ecuador, and it's product of e Ecuador here. Check it out, nice case of bananas, not quite ripe yet. Organic, 40 pounds. I want you guys to guess how much they cost. Wrong, eight bucks, dude. Oh my gosh, eight bucks is so cheap for a case of 40 pounds. That's like, I don't even know, man, like 20 cents a pound or something like that. I mean, you guys say you can't afford organics? Dude, 20 cents a pound organic bananas. Move to California if you need to. And here we go, man. This is another variety of bananas. It was a Chiquita bananas. I bought these first. I thought I was getting a good deal on these guys. Chiquitas, organic, start with a nine once again. Another whole case, organic bananas, 40 pounds. Guess how much? Seven? Wrong! <laughs> no, this one was 10 bucks, but still. 10 bucks, a case of bananas. Uh, you know, 25 cents a pound. Insane, man, raw foods is so cheap to do. You don't live in California already, you should move and you'll save money because the produce prices are so insane and cheap. It's like crazy, crazy Eddie prices if you're in New York City. Also on the trip, we got some cool plants. I got the lemongrass, I like to use the lemongrass uh, juice a little bit as a seasoning for like soups and dressings. And we got some really cool stuff here, but this is a sugar cane. So if you do uh, choose to eat sugar, I recommend you eat sugar cane, uh, whole sugar cane that's fresh. Just chew the, uh, the stock up to get the, the water and the sugar and also all the other phytochemicals and phytonutrients that would naturally be in the plant. In addition, got a whole bunch of plant starts here. Let's go to the back, uh, back of the line here, show you what else we got. So we also got some Baja Organics hot house grown tomatoes. Look at this, nice flat of tomatoes here. This is 11 pounds of tomatoes. Hot house grown by Baja Organics for 10 bucks. Definitely a good deal. Just if we didn't have enough tomatoes, I can't resist a good deal. We got more. We got the Winsec Campari tomatoes. This is 16 pounds. It's uh, 16 times one pound. And this whole case was 12 bucks. Some of these are still not quite uh, red. Uh, hopefully because they are still on the vine, they'll still kind of turn, but they're not going to taste as good as the other ones. And the tomatoes, even not in the refrigerator, because I don't recommend refrigerating them, will usually last several weeks to a month, depending on the temperature you know, in your house. Next, we got a killer deal. We got two cases here of organic pineapples. Check it out. Organic pineapples, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven count. Guess how much? Five bucks. That being said, these guys are a little bit rough. <laughs> you can look at this here, and these stems are kind of jacked up, but if you look at the bottom, they're still nice and hard. And you know, I've never found that pineapples will ripen once you cut them off the plant. I mean, they are what they are. They might turn a little bit, but they're still gonna be pretty acidic. These guys, I'm probably gonna end up juicing them, make some delicious pineapple juice out of them. And I mean, literally, if I juice these guys up, that'll be like one or two meals. It'll be gone just in an instant, but I'll be able to get some uh, pineapples in me. Last, we got some organic apples. Can't turn down another good deal. Organic apples here, Earthbound, Granny Smiths. Granny Smiths are the best kind of apples for juicing because they re re retain their texture fairly well and will work well in the slow auger machines like the Omega Vert, the Solo Star, the Slow Star, things like that. Box, 35 pounds, 10 bucks, man, organic apples. Last but not least, we got my favorites. We got the fresh coconuts. Always encourage you guys to drink fresh coconut water out of the coconut instead of out of a package. But of course, packaged coconut water is far better than a kombucha or even a soda, in my opinion. So this time we got the standard coconuts, and uh, these guys here are the small ones, and they were uh, 28 pieces, so 28 small coconuts, which are like little bite-sized ones, for 14 bucks. So that's like 50 cents each, definitely a good price. Normally they're a little bit bigger. I like the small ones because they're cheaper price. And then they, I found something new, and this is really exciting to me. Uh, I couldn't find the green coconuts in the husk, which is the ones I normally like to get, but I was able to find these guys this time and check it out. 
These are Mexican coconuts shaved down into the husk, not in the full husk. And these are shaved down and these appear not to be dipped in anything because they are starting to kind of like get some funky like, you know, uh, purple spots. And that just shows like when this, the machete cuts into it, it kind of turns purple. And in here there looks to be like 11 pieces and I prefer these coconuts over the Thai coconuts because they are from Mexico, they're closer and I don't believe at this point they are dipped in anything. Uh, Let's see, they're pretty full. They're probably gonna be a little bit more mature than the Thai coconuts, but they're also a little bit less money. They're uh, $15 for 11 pieces today. So I'm really excited about uh, cracking open some of these coconuts and drinking the water. I think this is a good alternative to the green coconuts in the husk, it's just the green coconuts that have been husked partial away for you. And I think it's cool, like the Thai coconuts look the same each and every time. These ones are a little bit different, like, I think they probably hand carved these or something. I don't know, it's pretty trip. So really looking forward to enjoying some of these uh, new Mexican white coconuts. But the last thing I wanna show you in this video is what else I travel with besides all the food and some of the plants you see that I got are some appliances. So the last thing I travel with is just a little suitcase here. It's just like a little carry-on style suitcase and check it out. Inside here I got some bowls to eat salads with. And I got a juicer. So I got the Omega Vert juicer with me today. And I got a Jack LaLanne blender with my Vitamix craft top because it fits on there. So I basically have a Vitamix when I'm traveling. So this is good to make juices and fresh smoothies and all this kind of stuff. In addition, back over in this area, I actually have a, a bamboo cutting board and a knife. So it's very important to have the tools, not only the tools you need if you do want to juice or blend or do whatever when you're traveling, but also make the produce available. I mean, whether you're traveling, whether you're at home, you always wanna have fruits and vegetables available and around. I mean, I'm gonna have so many fruits and vegetables at home, I would never even consider eating anything else. In addition, I'm gonna have so many nice plant starts that's gonna be growing in my garden, some of the cool plants that I got this trip growing. And if you notice, I pretty much bought mostly fruits and I didn't buy too many vegetables. That's because I grow my greens, grow my vegetables. Greens are far easier to grow than fruits. And I encourage you guys to grow your own foods whenever possible. You want to be sure to check my other website, growingyourgreens.com for that. All right, last thing to go in the car, got the backpack. This is all packed real nice, nice and tight. That's how I like it, not going to fit even more produce in there. Last thing I want to do, man, after a hard days of work, get out my handy dandy coconut opener, take one of these coconuts, pop it out, got the straw. Wow, it's actually amazingly sweet, just like I picked it off the tree myself. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, learning more about how I roll with my fruits and vegetables, my plants, my plant starts, all that kind of stuff easily fit in. And finally, I wanna remind you guys, you know, life is what you make it. If you wanna get organic food, you'll find a way to do it, whether that means growing yourself, whether that means moving to California so you can go to the wholesale produce terminal and get the lowest prices, but the cost of living on other things is actually much more. I mean, every place has its pros and cons, and I encourage you, no matter where you're at in life, there are always fresh fruits and fresh vegetables available wherever you are. You know, I've traveled the world, and I mean, fruits and vegetables grow out in nature. There's nature everywhere. So there's no excuses for not eating more fruits and vegetables. Whether you're Just when you thought I was all packed up, I had to make one more stop. I'm here at Cal Poly Pomona at the farm store. And I got some more stuff. I gotta tell you, I have an addiction. My addiction is to buying produce so I can eat it and get healthy. We got some amazing deals here actually, check it out. These super sized, super huge watermelons, 250 each. Definitely really cool. We got uh, some local grown here at Cal Poly. Uh, guavas, 33 cents each. Man, this is insane, check this out. We got 10, squash for a dollar so that's uh 10 cents each we got these like round ones like this we got like round ones that are yellow i mean these are perfect for spiralizing and local zucchinis are kind of going out of season here pretty soon in addition got the bomb oranges here valencia oranges local grown uh, here on at cal poly all about all the same size gonna be perfect for juicing 25 pounds, 11 bucks. Super deal. 
can't forget the melons, man. I love the melons. This is probably the last of the season. They're almost out of season now. Cantaloupes, only a buck. And they put these in bags. These are Crenshaw's. These are 29 cents a pound. I think this one was like $1.62. These are a bit soft. They're definitely gonna be good and I'm gonna have to eat them really soon. And finally, we got some uh, MacArthur avocados. So yet another variety of avo to eat. But I don't end there. Besides my produce addiction, I have a bigger addiction than produce, believe it or not. It's plants. I love plants. I love my little babies. And we got some new ones that are gonna feed me all through the fall and winter time right here. We got this spinach. This uh, hybrid spinach, it's a fast growing hybrid spinach. And I mean, just this, it doesn't look like a lot of food now, but guess what, you plant it, it grows and grows. Every day it's exposed to sun, it gets good nutrition, like the rock dust that I'm gonna put in, the compost. And literally I could pick a salad out of it a day for the whole winter time. Super cool. Also got some cool stuff, actually I've never grown before. Looking forward to it, this stuff actually is called the Chico Burdock. So the burdock root is anti-tumorous. And I don't get a lot of burdock actually in my life, so I'm gonna have some now. The roots could grow like 12 inches or more long or deep. In addition, uh, because the season's gonna be ending really soon, I got some uh, additional basil. We got a pesto perpetual basil, so this is a calmer basil and a more of a perennial style basil. This is destined to be grown inside uh, through the winter time uh, with lighting. So I'm really looking forward to that. In addition, we got a, a calmer basil, just a standard calmer basil, and then another new a new vegetable that they had a sign and I was like, what, a new vegetable? And what this is, this is actually called Kaleidoscope Mix. And the, this is actually a cross between kale and Brussels sprouts. So it grows tall like Brussels sprouts, but they don't make little balls and you could eat it. They look an awful lot like tree college, but taste nothing like tree college. They kind of have that Brussels sprout flavor, if you like it or if you don't. So that's what I got here, Cal Poly, Pomona. Now we gotta fit it in the car. Got it all packed, let's see if the door shuts out. Handy door on these things. We're in like Flynn, now we're fully loaded. Is that like fully raw? Fully loaded and raw. Headed back with like a month worth of fresh fruits and a lot of vegetables to grow too. Anyways, I hope you guys truly enjoyed this episode, you know, seeing how I do it, how I roll, how you could eat affordably, inexpensively eat some of the best stuff on earth, the fresh fruits, and grow your fresh vegetables. Be sure to tune into my other YouTube channel, growingyourgreens.com, and subscribe there to learn how you can grow your own greens. And be sure to subscribe to this channel, OK Raw, to get you guys the future updates on all my plant-based raw foods teachings. Once again, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time, and until then, keep on eating your fruits and vegetables. They're always the best.